I, 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 my wife is very musical and uh, obviously with the Clare blood and the Kilfenora blood. What instruments does she play? The, the flute, which she's a very good tin whistle player. <gasps> very good. A very, very good tin whistle player. And is the, she's very, she, would, the, she wouldn't say that, but I know she is. The flute is out to the side. Yes, the flute. And so she's able to, to, to do the funny thing with the lip. <laughs> yeah, oh, lovely. Oh, Mama. brilliant. So, Mary, not, the, before, the, you go on, before you go on, a few, a few questions. Would she ever play for her own comfort around the house? No, the flute is in under the bed. In its box. Yes. The flute it's is under the bed. The flute is under the bed. It only comes out of Christmas. Where's, where's, where's the flute? The flute it's is under, under the, the bed. bed. <laughs> <laughs> but where is she, the flute is in its packed away it's under box. the bed. It only comes out at Stevens' day. Okay. Oh, she, oh, for the, the wrens. <laughs> <laughs> the wren, the wren, the king of the wren, the wren, the wren, the wren. So, uh, so would, would you ever just to get the tin whistle? Where's that Oh, she kept? would have the tin whistle down in the... In the, in in the, the cutlery. In, in the cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> She's about 14 whistles in the cutlery because there was, a, yeah, there was a time when the boys were in Bournemouth National School that they were all doing their little, yeah. you know, the deedle dee, deedle 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 dee. And it was driving us mentally. The go, dawning of the you, day. You go to the Christmas nativity play and, and now we'll have, we'll have junior and senior infants and they'll be like, beep, beep. And my, dogs that throw going I, fucking mental. My, <laughs> my young lad, my youngest boy Shane would be always there acting as if he's playing and he plays nothing. Useless. Reen took up the banjo. Reen was decent on the banjo. And I had these envisions of the boys, the banjo. We banjo three who live up the road for me came down and played for the communion. For Reen's communion, we had a bit of an old tent out the back and we had a uh, Peroni on draft and it drove uncles and aunties demented. <laughs> <laughs> there were uncles and aunties coming in and they were like what's that and I had, I had, a, I had a, a little gazebo we banjo three playing and we had a keg of Peroni and after a while I had the tall glasses after a while I could see everyone getting a little bit locked on the Peroni and like, oh, that's one of the best beers I've ever tasted <laughs> <laughs> little did they know it was really super strong so by the end of the night anyway Reen is on the banjo he's learned that so Dipna would be trying to teach uh, the boys the, the tin whistle. She's a really good tin whistle player. The best tin whistle player in the country is a lady from Spittle called Mary Bergen. Oh, yeah. Who's an absolute... She's the Jimi Hendrix of the tin whistle. So that she would always Puts be. behind her head and plays it. <laughs> <laughs> Uses her ear to blow us the air out. Psychedelic tin whistle. <laughs> 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 um, there must be somewhere <laughs> over here. <laughs> so the joker to the thief. Um, but tell me, does your, does your wife play for her own comfort and amusement ever oh she no but uh, Stevens' day we go to a local pub over the road and there'd be about 60 people in there about 4 o'clock in the evening and she would just hooch into the session Lovely. and just I every love tune that. and for those of you listening who don't know Hector's wife uh, the family is the Kilfenora Kilfenora Kayleigh Band, Kayleigh band. Yeah. so they'd be that's just super talented I tell talented you this was a sound in their house going oh. wasn't it just a fucking the soft stomp oh. of the floor Lovely. as the tune is fucking hopping beautiful and and all that side so music is big in their house but uh, it hasn't Reen has given up the banjo Shane has no interest in it uh, and it reminded me of when I and this is the thing when I tried to learn a musical instrument my mother had the wiseness to go downtown one day and buy me a guitar I was about nine years of age and I used to have to go to classes to learn the guitar so I would put the guitar in the, the sort of bag and walk from my house every Saturday morning about a mile towards the first bridge. And then I'd get down, climb down the side of the bridge and walk along the train tracks for another two miles and go to this... That's the cover of the album now. <laughs> Hector on the train I tracks. I was just visualising that while you were talking. Uh, I'd go along the train tracks then and... Uh, and go down towards the Kells Road and I'd get off the train tracks and then I'd go down to this house and there was a little sort of an old annexed flat roof beside it and I'd knock on the door and it was the home of the Bogey Boys and Smiths. A very musical family uh, and the sister is one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's where they, they were born. And I'd go in there. That's a... Wait, it's like a fucking clue from a crossword. <laughs> the, fuck? the sister was born in the song. Who sang, who sang this? She? I'm only human. Loads of people. Loads sang of people. No, I'm just a woman. Louise Morrissey. No, Lord help me to say. Mrs. Smith. And help me to pray. You've forgotten her name, haven't no, you? No, I'm trying to remember as I sing this. Margot. Margot. I'm just a woman. Is Margot related to Daniel O'Donnell? Yes. So no, no, now? it wasn't Margot. It wasn't. It was Gloria. 
Gloria, Gloria, and it was number one in Ireland That's for about right, yeah. 14 weeks. Oh. She's from Navin. Yeah. So the is Smith, she? yeah, and the Bogey Boys. Gloria Smith, is that yeah, her name? Gloria Smith. And no. the Bogey Boys were a very famous rock and roll band in Ireland in the 80s. Tony Smith and all the boys were in the Bogey Boys. And that's the house, one of the boys there from the Bogey Boys would teach me the guitar. And I'd knock on the door and it was Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And I would bring in my 50p or my pound oh, yeah. and drop it in the thing, the, 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 the box. And I'd sit on a plastic chair <laughs> and he'd go, OK, here we go. I was old MacDonald for about six fucking months. It was cash. <laughs> and I put the bag, I put the, I put the, that's thanks, actor. OK, see you next week. Rock and roll legend back in the train tracks. <laughs> Can you imagine him sitting down yeah, with the wink, it? Here, a wink, wink here and a wink, wink there. And my mother would say to me, then wink, wink. Like, I'd walk up the train tracks. <laughs> the I'd walk going. up the train tracks and get stung by nettles on the way back up. And then I'd climb up to the top of the bridge at the moat bridge. And then I'd walk another mile and a half past all the tinkers. And then I'd get home to the bungalow. And then I'd go in and <laughs> my mother would say, there's a bit of sandwich spread there with two slices of ham and sandwich a bit of bread. Spread. So some sandwich spread left over or the salad cream. Have your lunch. Oh. And then she said, did you learn much today? And I go, I did. Take it out there and play it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I only learned the first five lines. <laughs> so, so after about three years of this, right, every Saturday morning... <laughs> No lifts, just go out in the rain with me fucking head and down the road, down the bridge, across the tracks, into the fucking thing, drop the pound in the fucking thing. I fucking was there going, fuck this fucking shit. So one day in the sitting room, I said, fuck the guitar. And I fucking <laughs> off the couch. I said to splinterines and fucking cunt, bastard of a guitar. Fuck yes, fuck off. And, <laughs> and the guitar was like, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end. Everywhere. The there was no more fucking old McDonald for me. <laughs> <laughs> My father goes, that guitar is fucked anyway. I like, well, I bit the guitar off the cable end of the house. Cunt, fuck you, fuck off. And that was my. That was the only time oh. I tried to learn it, and it was, it was that journey. But so, so, do you guys ever play anything? I played the tin whistle all the time, but I can still <laughs> only you, play the same things you. all the time. Class, is that your party piece? Yeah, but I can't. I can play the dawning of the day, <gasps> and I can play Sean South from Gary Owen. You know, <laughs> do you ever take out <laughs> the flute? It was at so par- funny. At yeah, wait, my sister got married in Italy, and there was a there's a. A band they flew them over anyway and we were all at the wedding and I said to them on the next night you know and they were having like a big barbecue and they were playing outside and I said I can play the tin whistle and I brought it with me and they were like oh brilliant come on so up it's the next thing I, and they were like do you want me to will we support you playing I said I'm happy enough to go alone but I said you can join in if you want <laughs> next thing I started playing D F F F D A D B D D D D E F D F B D E they were like they, well, you weren't on it <laughs> everyone was sitting around going is this supposed to be are you a grown adult and is this supposed to be good is this your sister is she alright <laughs> and the band are there going Looking at each other, <laughs> like strumming the, the guitar. The day in the Mediterranean, and then, and then they're saying, they're saying, you were sort of going too fast and too slow for us to join in. Oh, so. That's a, a remarkable <laughs> gift, Larissa, to, to be able to go too slow and too fast. They didn't know what I they did. I love that five star Mediterranean hotel. So I played the dawning, the dawning the... and then I said, I have another one, and they were like, No, no, no okay. it's okay, it's all right. And I was like, No, I'll just go with the bit I know. It's the next thing, G A, the Sean. Out from get, and then I got to about the, I got to about the t- <laughs> yeah, and then I I was like I, I think I will leave it at that now I I just can't remember the end of it so the, and I still have the tin whistle and I still bring it out every now and then oh, and play Tommy, it. Tommy, do you ever learn it? No. <laughs> <laughs>